Hi, this is Brandon Moon with Moonlit Fly Fishing. I want to welcome you to Fly Tying Night tonight. Tonight we're going to be tying up a Renee Harrop pattern, the Last Chance Cripple, designed to fish the Railroad Ranch section of the Henry's Fork, a section well known for its dry fly action and very, very picky fish. With that, I want to invite you to make sure that you like the video. Make sure that you leave us a comment and hit the subscribe button to receive future notification as well. This means a lot to us as we work to create good content and put it out to people. So, we're going to make a substitution material wise on this pattern. But first, we're going to start our thread at about the three quarter point. And I'm using Semperfly's Classic Wax 12 aught in the Olive Dunn. And it's just going to lay a nice smooth foundation of base here as I wrap back to the bend of the hook, trim that out. For the tail, I'm going to use some medium dun Coke de Leon from Whiting. If you don't have Coke de Leon, you can use some medium dun or dark dun fibers from your saddle as well. I'm going to measure this out. I want the tail to be about the length of the hook shank, maybe just a smidge shorter. As you can see, that's quite a bit longer. So I'm just going to shorten that up. There we go. I'm going to create a little tiny bit of a shuck using golden olive micro glint from Semperfly. Before I put that in, I'm just going to trim out these hackle fibers at the length I need them. And I'm going to trim them out at that tie-in point so I get a nice even body. I'm going to tie these in about halfway down the tail. Now I'm just going to secure those in to that tie-in point, trim them out. And that's just two fibers of this micro glint and that's because it's going to fray out and give me a little bit of a sparkle and a shuck type look appearance. I'm going to take, as I go back, I'm going to help kind of stand up that tail, pull that right in there. That'll help my tail stay nice and vertical. For the body, I'm going to use an Olive Dunn Magpie Premium Wild Barred Turkey By It. These are my favorite biots to tie with. Oh, that one's got two of them in it. Great biot. Very durable. So I'm going to tie that on the side here. I'm going to have the translucent side facing the top of that hook and the ridge side facing the bottom side of the hook. We'll secure that in. And I always tie it so I don't really have to trim that if I don't need to on the smaller sizes. And this is a size 16, by the way. I tie this all the way up into a size 20. A little bit of a taper to this body here. And I want to stay at that three quarter mark for my body so I don't crowd the eye of this hook. 
I'm going to take my buy it. I half hitch that so that I can actually take and use the rotary feature to wrap this buy it. And I want that ridge of this buy it on the back side so that I can create a nice smooth even tapered rib to this fly wrap that so that that body is going to go all the way up into that three quarter point secure that down lock it in place in the front now I'll just snip that out now I'm going to take a small tiny bit of olive kapok dubbing from Semperfly and when I say a small I mean a really small amount I'm just gonna put this at that three-quarter mark there here's where we have our material substitute and for the CDC we're substituting medium done poly yarn from Semperfly. I'm going to measure this out to be about the length of the hook shank. Secure that down. Wrap it up to the eye of that hook. I'll build up a little bit of a head to start on that. Wrap back. Now we'll just take and trim that out. It leaves a little bit of a casing over the top of it right there. Okay. Whiting, medium done, hackle. You can see I've prepped that feather. One side is going to have that bare stem on that first wrap. So that it is a nice clean wrap. I'm going to go behind this with two wraps. Then we're going to finish securing that down. Now I'm going to wrap this hackle and I've got the shiny side facing forward. And I like it that way because it pushes the fibers rearward so it doesn't go forward in front of the hook. Wrap that up. Secure that out, pull it back. Now I'm going to take and whip finish this. Three turn whip. I'm just going to, for good measure, do another one. trim out my hackle and there you have a Renee Harrop 
last chance cripple pattern blue wing olive this is a guides version of this uh, poly yarns real durable cheap and very effective so make sure do us a favor make sure you like the video make sure you leave us a comment hit the subscribe button and the bell to receive future notification and we look forward to seeing you again next week we appreciate your support it helps us out a great deal and you have a wonderful evening